25 years. Obviously, the Armory is like the other big show in town, so we really kind of spearheaded the Arts Week for New York. I was at a press conference with the mayor, and he was emphasizing how rich this is for New York, not only for the people who are here, but the people who are all part of the infrastructure of what goes on in the art world, in the galleries and in the museums, and the kind of revenue that it brings to the city. 25 years is a long uh, stretch for any art fair, but it's particularly notable because it's the longest running show in the United States. We have 175 members across the country, and in this show we have 72 exhibitors. For this show in particular, we're presenting two artists, you know, kind of a one-man show for each of them. I'm standing next to work by Caetano de Almeida, who is from Sao Paulo, Brazil, who makes canvases as well as works on paper that have a strong a system of abstraction based uh, often on the grid, but not exclusively. Alan Shields, is an artist whose estate we represent. He also has a great affinity for textiles. So we tried to pick works by Alan that also have that kind of a syncopated rhythm that is really emblematic of both of these artists. There are some booths like uh, DC Moore that's across the way from us who have concentrated more on mid-century modern, having to do with a reference to the original Armory show of 1913. Um, there are galleries like James Goodman who's sh showing works from 55 years of having been in business and happily 50 of those are with the Art Dealers Association. And then there are other fantastic booths that are a very contemporary artists either um, here in America or abroad. Next door is Lauren Augustine showing Zarina Hashmi, who's an Iranian artist. And down the way is a fantastic booth of John Newman sculptures at Tibor Danaji. I think we have a really diverse range of uh, artists that are being presented either thematically or as single artist shows.